Hello, random citizens of the internet. I'm back, I'm back again, I know my friend. I keep saying I'm back, but I promise I am back this time. In the meantime, or I guess in the time I was gone, we moved house, I've been really swamped with work. It's just been a crazy time, but a good time nonetheless. So I'm happy to see your smiling faces. Uh, but with that being said, I think I found the problem or solution to the problem, which is this bag. If you are looking for a good alternative to the Chanel flap, so with that being said, let's get into this review. So like I mentioned, I feel like this is definitely inspired by the Chanel flap, but it definitely has a couple things that are different. To kind of talk about it really briefly and also not ruin all of my chances of being a Chanel girl one day, I don't know. I definitely am a Dior girl, so Dior, you know, hit me up one day, hit me up. But um, when it comes to the Chanel flat bag and the Chanel bags, there's recently been a price increase and I don't know how I feel about the price increase. Now, am I in that tax bracket to care like that? No, I'm not. No, I'm not in that tax bracket. But eventually maybe one day i'd like to invest in a couple of additional luxury pieces because i do believe especially a bag like this right here that's coming in at about 500 dollars, and this isn't a main bag for me like this is a going out item that's an investment um but i do think kind of hearing what i've heard about chanel and louis vuitton in the more recent years it kind of has me on the fence on what i would do if i bought one of those bags a lot of people are going more towards vintage pieces outside of the fact that it's more sustainable for the environment. It's also a way of voting with your dollars because a lot of the Chanel and Louis Vuitton pieces apparently, as I've heard, don't exactly hold up to their predecessors. So a lot of the pieces um, I've heard with Chanel, either they're not the same quality. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm just saying what I've heard. Either they're not the same quality, they're not using the same types of leathers, or they're not taking the same type of time, the stitching is off, or they're having loose threads other places. Or as I've heard, they've gone from using like gold items, so like the double C clasp might have been gold, the um, chains might have been real gold, and now they're doing gold plated. And at the price tag that some of these bags are at, I do I not do want not anything, anything gold plated. plated. I want I it all in gold, gold baby. baby. I want, I my, want champagne my champagne to have gold flex in it at this point, it. okay? I need it to if I am paying that much. That's just me personally. I want the whole shebang experience. So I do understand where some people are a little bit hesitant to go for newer Chanel. I think especially when looking at Louis Vuitton and hearing what I've heard about particularly their purses because their fashion game is killing it. but. Hearing about what happened with the Pochette Matisse against the Coach Cassie, it just, it doesn't like, mm, I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna say it. It doesn't sit right with me because it's like you're having glazing issues and cracking issues and people are trying to figure out the factories so it doesn't come from the stateside factory, it comes from the French factories. But even then, I'm not gonna get on my high horse about that. I am gonna leave a link below called The Cost of Luxury. Just watch it and just think twice. Anyways, with that being said, let's get into the actual review for this bag. Okay, so this is the Coach Madison 18 in Napa leather. I do want to just say the Napa leather is very, very soft, so it might be very, very easy to accidentally scratch it. I actually have a drifter that had like soft leather, glove tan leather, and a different type of leather. And I did scratch that up a little bit. So getting the conditioner for this bag might be worth the investment. I'm just saying at the gate. So there are about four compartments once you open it with this turn lock, which I appreciate um, turn locks. <laughs> Sorry, you heard my dog. Um, so you have this open pocket right here. You have a zipper pocket right here. And then you have a magnetic envelope pocket on the inside that has two additional pockets right here. This is a micro fiber. It's not suede, I don't believe, which I think that's to kind of help with the transfer of oils on your fingers or water or anything and prevent it from getting like permanently stained. And then in the back, you have this envelope pocket. This is one of the areas that I would say keep in mind that it could potentially get scratched easier because as you see right here, I put my hand in and bam, my ring is scratching it. Be mindful of that. Even without my ring, I'm gonna try and slip it to that side. So just the bands, it still catches a little bit. So just be mindful and be aware. You could potentially have more scratching through here. 
um that being said it's a very deep pocket i don't think this pocket is going to give you too too many issues one of the things I'm wondering is what they put in to keep the structure of the bag. I think the difference between the Chanel flaps and the Chanel 19 is that those bags over time will kind of have a more relaxed feel to them. And it feels like there's something put in between to kind of give it more structure throughout the bag. Like right here, it's, it's flexible. I don't think it's plastic and I hope it's not because if it was plastic, it would probably break but i don't know because the quilting's right here too so yeah i don't know what it is but it feels like it'll keep this shape for a very long time at the top you have these holes that have the chains going through them which i like that the chains even have the detail and it might be really hard to see but they have the threading detail through the chain too i like that the holes are parallel point is i like that they're horizontally parallel versus vertically parallel because it makes it easier for the chain to move back and forth in my opinion and i know that the parker is kind of similar to this bag and i heard that was an issue that people had about the parkers as well and then right here you can see the coach just embossed into the metal which i love that too now to talk about the bag and the chain because a lot of people always wonder is this going to make it heavier in my opinion it does but it doesn't this bag for me is not a everyday bag it is a going out bag so i'm going to brunches baby showers bridal showers maybe a wedding or two like anything that's kind of more of a nighttime vibe going out to the bars going over to a friend's house and like doing like a cute little like I don't know, I saw those backyard parties a lot during quarantine and now like I think we're kind of into those right now, I don't know. But that's kind of where I would wear this to. I wouldn't wear this to an everyday thing. I wore it to a couple of showings too. I noticed that when I take this to a showing versus like my Kelly dupe or my Tabby Top handle or just my backpack that I have from Coach, it's an Eevee backpack, I noticed that this does get a little bit heavier and I'm not like super keen on that. I also noticed that there's a slight lean forward and I put the bag down and I do so desperately wish that they had four feet on the bottom at bare minimum. I'm always a five feet type of gal and like give me six feet. I don't know what to do with myself. Absolutely love that. But you know, I guess the whole point of it is it's not supposed to be really set down all that much. Um, but I put only a few items in. I might put like five or six items, wallet, keys, sunscreen, because your girl needs sunscreen, because this sun that we have nowadays is not the sun that I grew up with. Okay, even if we're melanated, we need to keep our skin pristine, queen. Okay, anyways, getting off my <laughs> sunscreen soapbox. Um, I just feel like it's not big enough for me personally to use for that reason. Now to get to the last thing that I want to talk about, price, 500 doubloons. It is an everyday luxury type of bag in my opinion, um, in the sense of like, it's not costing you thousands of dollars, but what is thousands of dollars compared to $500 if you don't have $5, you know what I mean? Um, so pricing, I personally did get this off of Poshmark. Uh, the person who sold it to me, I can't show their name, like I don't want to do that to them, but their name is on, on this tag right here. Just know, as soon as you stamp a bag, they consider that to be personalized, even that hang tag. They will not take that bag back. They will not take that bag back. Sometimes these essays don't explain that to you. I personally had a situation like that happen. I wasn't super hurt because like I wanted to keep it, but I was just going through a lot emotionally when I bought the bag and I just didn't think about it. But thank you to my essay, Kevin who ended up working it out with his manager because like I was clearly obviously emotional as you see I'm still talking really fast about it but but um be mindful of that once you stamp it it's considered customized you cannot give it back um the other thing with the bag is that I bought it off of Poshmark she was selling it at a fraction of the cost because I think she just wanted to get rid of it even in the description she said like I don't use the bag as much as I thought I would and I just I don't want it anymore I've only had it for a short amount of time which I remember seeing this bag um a little ways back and I was like I love this bag it's just a little bit expensive it hasn't been on the market for a super long time but I do think that this is a solid contender if you are interested in buying something similar to the Chanel flap 
but it's not just a complete dupe of it. It's still something kind of of its own. And yeah, I just really like it. So if you like bag reviews or you like fashion, let me wish you feel right. If you like bag reviews or you like lifestyle, family, fashion, and faith, hit your girl up, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and I'll see you guys in my next video. I don't know what that link was, but I will see you later. Okay, bye. It's recorded on two separate tracks, each one giving special emphasis to certain...